Previously on The Potentialists. We're gonna go buy a dress. I was invited to go shopping. Nice dresses and some not so. Have you seen the dress yet? Look this way, Sabi. Some sex store. No, you're not wearing that, honey. Money can surely buy a lot of stuff. I like the back part. <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Are you watching my motivational moments? It was honestly Bert's motivational moment that convinced me that I should finally change my name. Motivational moments is where I talk to you one-on-one -on -one for a minute with tools and techniques that you can implement into your life right away. Because he was talking about the core values exercise, how you're supposed to take your last name and come up with core values. I've been divorced for years and I just never bothered to go change my name because I was just too lazy. I thought about my maiden name and I came up with my core values in like five minutes. So I decided to change my name. A person's name is extremely powerful. Now think about this. Would Oprah be Oprah if her name was Smith? <laughs> it would be different. So names are really powerful. Perfect time to practice patience, right? I mean, got to go to the Social Security Administration, the DMV, the TAG agency. It's going to take forever. How many have ever gone to a DMV or a Social Security place and then realized that it's so full of people you're never able to get out in time? I need to change my name on my Social Security. <laughs> It took no time at all. It took less than like an hour. I think I was maybe there for 45 minutes total. Because when everything is aligned and everything is meant to be, she was able to get in and out within the same day and achieve what she wanted to do. The guy at the Social Security Administration gave me the paper. He was like, all right, you're gonna have to come back tomorrow to get the paper to go change your name with the DMV or you're gonna have to wait like seven to 10 days because this doesn't have your actual name on it. I'm going to attempt to see if I can possibly go and change my name at the DMV anyway because I remember being able to do that before. Do you have any idea how long the wait's gonna be about? Perfect, thank you. Hi, I need to change my name back to my maiden name and I was in and out of there in less than 20 minutes. It was really cool. Thank you. That's you? Yep, that's me. That has got to be a record. I feel lighter. After that, I figured, well, I might as well keep trying my luck that I'm having. And I called the tag agency nearby and they said there was nobody in their line. When on earth is there nobody in a line at a tag agency? Never. I need to change the name on my registration to my maiden name. Everything is looking my way today. Tag agency done in less than five minutes. The other really official thing that you gotta deal with when you go to change your name is your passport, especially if you travel, which we travel all the time with Boa World. I went to um, a CVS because they take passport pictures. So I asked the guy if he could take my photo and you know just get it done really fast. And he was like, sure, no problem. So he walks out from behind the counter holding this camera that's this old, ridiculous camera that I think I had when I was like 14. What, like a four megapixel camera? Which was awesome when you were 14, but yeah. He pulled down this backdrop and just stood me there and took like one photo really, really fast. He took the SD card out of it and stuck it in the self-serve digital kiosk thing. I could have done it all myself and probably gotten a better photo out of it. Thank you. She really likes me. She likes me. Wow, new old name. Oh my God, that's gonna be so weird getting used to your new name. Yeah. Lesson learned, sometimes your expectations are just expectations and what actually happens has nothing to do with what you're expecting. Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?